Yes, y'all already heard. Hello, 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 my brothers and sisters. Also, y'all in Cherokee means hello. Somebody. That's in Thai, Laos, certain parts of South Asia. That means hello. I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going, to, I'm, I'm going to actually read it out to you to a point. But I want you to think of what President Trump, uh, Potato Head, what Potato Head said. Over there in Poland when he's talking about our troops and stuff. But this is something nobody paid attention. It was last night on, on a couple of live streams. Even Purple Tribes live stream. I was wondering about certain things. About crashing a dollar. Well, fact, he can. If you look, start looking, I don't know if I can get you to see, see this. These are the names of every ally of China and Russia. All of them. I'm going slow so you can see us. All of them. So you see what I'm saying? I'm going to bring it back down so you see exactly who I'm talking about. Bringing it back down so you see all the allies about crashing a dollar or going to war with us. You see what I'm saying? You really got to think before you jump. You got to really think before you jump. And you notice I got drug cartels even the African areas too, so you got to think. These are the, this is the one you got to worry about. He's 50-50. That's Saudi Arabia. It's 50-50. You take money, euros, yang, jing, Gold, silver, that's Saudi Arabia, it's all about money. But they can actually change everything about our money. But here's something you didn't pay attention. Remember, he already said, well, if China does this, we'll do sanctions. Well, I'll let him do them damn sanctions. Here's how stupid he was. This is the only thing China's got to do. And it'll collapse our whole dollar system. 8% steel. How about we don't send no more steel? Russia don't have to send no steel neither. Germany don't have to send no steel neither. All right, now here's the other part. India don't have to send steel also. That's 8% in China. It's 9% with Russia and Canada. <coughs> you didn't know Canada had a deal with China that they could actually put troops there and ain't nothing they can say or do. They don't even tell the cops. That's something nobody paid attention to. But here's why I said they, China is the one that can actually kill the dollar and can actually do some other stuff. But here's the reason why I say they can actually kill the dollar. We've got 8% 8, 8 steel. 80% of our ingredients and 80% of drugs do come from China. That's 80 and 80% 80 in medical supplies. That's 280, 80. That's 160%. Then you got your cell phones, which is 97%. We're talking about it. They just stop it all. We're going to stop selling you steel. We're going to stop selling you medicine. We're going to stop selling you ingredients for medicine. We're going to stop you from selling cell phones because that's 97%. Portable radio players, 96%. We don't have to send that new. Pots, pans, dishes, porcelain, china, silverware, forks, spoons. Hey, even your light bulbs didn't know about that. Then you got your video games at 98%. Your umbrellas at 99%. And electric blankets at 99%. And your electric toasters. Totally, they actually giving you everything, even toys, clothes, all that. China's been producing all that. All I got to do is say no more. We don't have to give you nothing. We can lock you out of your electric toasters, your blankets, your umbrellas, your playstations, your video games, all them other video games, your cooking appliances, your Portable radios, your cell phones, your Nike shoes, your shirt, your pants. Heck, we don't have to give you no more steel. Nothing. They don't have to do nothing. 
and we're going to give you our 160% of medication, which is 80% meta drugs and the ingredients for drugs. But here's the other part. When it comes down to the food shortage, this is what you got to remember. They're going to get their fertilizer from Russia and the, in the Ukraine. But here's the part when he was talking about food shortages. I'm going to give you a list that you didn't pay attention to. Kelp. They sell it to us. And then we got, what else did they talk about? Squash. Three different kinds of squash they send to America. This is in the November to March when we're needed in the wintertime. This is all vegetables that we get in the wintertime. We don't get hardly nothing during the summer from China when it comes to vegetables, just in the wintertime. So you got your kelp, you got your squash, three different kinds. You didn't pay attention. Your Romania leaves, grains, barley, Chinese spinach. You didn't know nothing about that cabbage, Two different kinds of cabbage they send. What else do they send that nobody pays attention to? Oh, your snow peas, shorts, and then you got your long peas. You didn't think about them, did you? You ain't thinking about your radishes and your dicotyl radishes. You didn't think about them. These are just vegetables that China be getting. Long beans, what we call green beans, they're just longer three different kinds. Now you need to be thinking about that Chavez, which is an herb. You ain't gonna be seeing that. Celery, three different kinds of celery. You didn't know about that. Tosol, which is a black cabbage. What I mean, we would actually call it a mustard plant or mustard spinach. Two different kinds of them that they grow for us. Then your chichi powder, your chichi peppers, your jalapeno peppers. They do a couple of them over there. How about your watermelons and your bitter watermelons? You didn't know about them neither. That's mainly a lot of herbal stuff. Oh, man, they got a lot of herbs. How about your okra? Or your zucchini. You didn't think about that. What about your pumpkins? You didn't think about that. Now, that's eggplants. You didn't think about none of them, but you should have been thinking about it. You should have been thinking about your food. Watercress, oaks, what I call them. You ain't going to be getting none of this if he decides to sit there and lock that down from us should have thought about that so what is what they be doing in the manufacturing is easy they shut all that goods for you but when it comes down to your vegetables between October to March when it's winter time for us you got to think about all them vegetables there they can just cut all that off there's your food shortage right there they back us up in food supplies as we back other nations for food supply. But China, all they got to do is say, well, we don't need to give nothing to America. And they ain't problem. See what I'm saying? Russia and China working as one. You didn't think about that. You also didn't think about they got between Russia and the allies. These are just the allies. Armenia, Kazakhstan, Bajan, Cuba, Zoklina, Iran, Pakistan, North Korea, Myanmar, Belgium, Syria, Iran, Iraq, Israel, Canada, because they got a contract with them, Venezuela, Nicaragua, Brazil, Ecuador. Then you got your drug cartels from Mexico, Nicaragua, Cocorisa, you didn't have it in Cuba, you didn't think about that. Then you got your African groups, Ethiopia, Somalia, and Argentina. See, you don't pay attention to that. That's how many people they got as allies. They can just change the dollar there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Twenty-three nations. And that twenty-three nations is four about 
four and a half billion people. All they got to do is talk to Saudi about changing the currency, and that's all they got to do. They can destroy America by not doing nothing, just not giving us nothing. Going back to the currencies. Think about it. Don't need to think about that. How you can collapse the economy, the stock markets, and all just because of goods, which is man made products, to vegetables. I didn't even go to India, I just went to China and what kind of vegetables they had. How they could get us in a food fight would be one thing, but how to starve us out that we give up a lot of stuff. Then I started really looking at it. That's a lot. When you come down to cabbages, two different kinds, squash, two different kinds, radishes, three different kinds, short peas, two different kinds, long beans, two different kinds. Then you go down to the melons, your eggplants, your watercress, your spinach, your okra. I mean, China's really got us by the boy toys, if you think about it. And we ain't even looking at the medication. Like medical, medical area is 80% for the medicine and 80% for the ingredients for medicine. China supplies us. You didn't think about that. You also didn't think about, you know, steel is 8% that they give us to us. Russia, 9%, Germany, 9% of steel. You see what I'm saying? They can lock all that down. Then you got to look at your cell phones, which is at 97%. See, China got all this worked out. Portable radios, uh, 96%. Cooking ap uh, appliances, all kinds of cooking appliances, plus your dishes, pots, pans, and your light bulbs. Then you got to look at your area of your games. Y'all like playing video games and all that? Well, they own 98% of that. Your umbrellas, 99%. Your electrical blankets, 99%. Your toaster's at 99%. See, they actually, and soy that we use on a lot of shit, which, you know, we got soy, that's 42%. You need to think about that. They could actually destroy our Wall Street. There's nothing we can do about it. You have to think about that. Russia and them, the two parties, you see what I'm saying? The two parties, you see how I got it? The two parties and all their alliance, 20-something nations, the only thing they got to do is say change the currency or we can actually stop all the goods coming from every one of these nations. You have to think about that. What all comes from every one of these nations and you would find out a lot. See? So it's all planned out. Everybody's got everything planned out. Like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you later. Business report from Wall Street area. I just showed you how they can destroy America just by collapsing Wall Street. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.